I'm on my way to uncover a few secrets about Port Phillip Bay. Now it's a grey old day on the bay, but below water, this is a wonderland. In fact, there are hundreds of marine species here that aren't found anywhere else in the world. Effectively, we have our own great barrier reef along our southern shores. Maybe not as warm, but it's certainly as significant and worthy of protection as what's north of the Queensland border. Jeff Weir is head of the Dolphin Research Institute. Their quest is to teach southern Australians about the incredible array of marine life in their own backyard, especially the unique population of dolphins living right here in Port Phillip Bay. We've got a resident group of bottlenose dolphins that are so genetically unique that they're soon to be proclaimed a new species of mammal. We've also got a unique situation where we have about um, a couple of dozen common dolphins that normally live in the open ocean that have come and colonised our wonderful Port Phillip. The Institute's been studying the bay's bottlenose dolphins for two decades as part of the Coast Care program. Up to 120 bottlenose dolphins live in the bay, and one, Ariel, has just become a grandma, so the research now spans three generations. But how do researchers know which dolphin is which? Simply by taking photos of their dorsal fins. A dolphin's dorsal fin is like our fingerprint. Each one is unique in its shape and markings. So researchers like Dave can identify different dolphin individuals and thereby learn more about their movements, behaviours and habitat preferences. Dave IDs each dolphin from a database of 40,000 photos and it's surprisingly easy to spot the difference. This is one of our more famous common dolphins in the population. This is ragged fin. You can tell that she's got quite a uh, damaged fin on the trailing edge. This is the trailing edge we call that and uh, she's very readily identifiable. You can even help support this research by joining the Institute's Adopt a Dolphin program. Protecting these amazing mammals is just part of the puzzle. The Institute also runs the ICI Care program, which aims to make us all more aware of what lies below. The program enlists young ambassadors like Ebony, who are taught all about marine conservation. Their job is to then pass on that knowledge to the rest of their school, family and friends. The message is really you've got to protect what is out there and what we really have. It's on our doorstep, but it won't be there forever if we don't look after it.